Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Are You an Insect? The author is Shabnam Minwala. The illustrator is Adrija Ghosh and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Are You an Insect? E Do you run when you see a cockroach or scream when you see a bee? Look closely instead. So this, as you can see here, this is a cockroach and this child is running away screaming eek when they see the cockroach. Does that happen to you? I am scared of cockroaches. What about you or bees? If you run away, you should look closely. Instead, look at it, see what it looks like. Insects are amazing. They help scientists make machines. So who is a scientist? A scientist is someone who studies science, who studies how things work, how everything around us works, and they study animals, they study insects and birds, they, they study everything, and what, they, what do they do with that? They use that to help us with our daily life. And a machine is a tool that would help us in our day-to-day -day life. And scientists study insects to make machines. So you can see here, this is a scientist and she is studying this cockroach very closely. She's looking at how many legs it has, what do that le those legs look like, and what does this cockroach do? How does it move? And what does she do with that? You can see that she's drawn these pictures of what the cockroach would look like and she's doing something with that, uh, with that knowledge. What is she doing? Let's see. Grasshopper robots are tiny, but they leap very high, just like real grasshoppers. One day, they may explore places that no one has ever been. A grasshopper is a small green insect that hops around, that jumps around on grass. I don't, you may have seen it. Um, it, it. It likes to hop. That's the way it moves. It has these long legs that fold and when they fold and jump it helps it jump very high so a grasshopper robot is a machine what does it do it jumps very high just like a grasshopper and what can that do what can that help us do it can go very high right humans you and me can't go very high and so grasshopper robots might help us Look at places that no one has ever been to. E, what is this? It's a cockroach. Let's see what we can learn from a cockroach. Roach bots run around and squeeze through tiny cracks, just like real cockroaches. One day, they could help find people who are lost or trapped. So what do we learn from cockroaches? I'm sure you have seen cockroaches. Don't they just go anywhere and everywhere? Sometimes you open a cupboard and out comes a cockroach. How does it get there when the door is closed? The thing with cockroaches are is that they can get into any small space very easily. So a scientist 
would create a roach pod that is like a cockroach to get into to squeeze into very small spaces and how does that help us so let's say sometimes uh, a building is on fire or it is old and you know it it collapses it, it falls down all the walls the pillars are fallen down and somebody is lost or trapped under all that mess what do we have to do usually we would have to remove everything one by one and try to find them they would have to call out help you know but if you have a roach bot at uh, some day they could go into those small spaces and find these people more easily robo bees can fly and perch on plants just like real bees one day robo bees might travel to mars in a spaceship collect mud and gas and bring it back to us so have you seen a bee bees fly around everywhere they sit on top of a flower and they drink the flower's nectar they go and sit on a plant or a leaf how how do they do that that is the bee's body that lets them do that a robo bee can also just like a bee fly and perch can sit on plants and that might help us one day they might go outside the earth to mars in a spaceship a spaceship is a type of vehicle that lets um, us go to other planets uh, like mars and robo bees might go to mars in a spaceship and collect these samples of mud gas and bring it back to us so that we can study what's on mars so this is what a robo bee looks like you can see it has the wings and it can fly and perch on plants just like a real bee water strider microbots can walk on water just like real water striders one day they could clean our lakes and oceans so a water strider is an insect that can walk on water its body allows it to walk on water and a water strider microbot is designed just like this insect to walk on water and how can that help us maybe one day they could walk on the water and clean our lakes and oceans in this picture you can see these machines these are the water strider microbots and you can see how they are walking on water the next time something crawls or buzzes around look carefully it might be a roach bot or a robo bee you never know wouldn't that be exciting the next time you see something crawling or buzzing around it might be one of these bots one of these machines so look carefully at what is around you see you can see all of the different um machines here these are the robo bees and the grasshopper robots and the roach bots and the water strider microbots a bot is a computer program or little machine that can perform simple 
repetitive tasks. So a bot is something that does the same thing again and again. It could be a little machine that does this or a computer program. It does these repetitive tasks, meaning tasks that keep repeating again and again, every day, every hour, every minute, something like that. So for example, let's say that every day when you, before you go to school, you have to clean your shoes. So you would do this normally yourself, right? But let us say you have a machine that does that for you. Every morning, it gets, it turns itself on and at a certain time, at seven o'clock or something before you have to go to school, it goes over to your shoes and it cleans it. That would be a bot or it could be a program on the computer. It could be checking your email every day and playing a sound if there is an email from your teacher. So that could also be a bot. What are examples of a bot? These machines, roach bots, grasshopper robots are examples of bots. Robo bees, water strider, microbots. These are also examples of bots. I hope you liked this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are scientist, someone who studies science and how things work and uses the study to make our lives easier. Leap, jump, squeeze, to press together from opposite sides. Perch, to sit on a high place like a bird. Spaceship, a vehicle that can go away from the earth to space, to other planets and the moon. Grasshopper, an insect that jumps very high. Robobee. A small robot that can fly and perch. Water strider. An insect that can walk on water. Bot. A small machine or computer program that does the same thing again and again. Try these questions. Look around you for insects or small creatures. Write down some examples of what they can do well that could help us. Imagine and design a robot that is inspired from one of these creatures. Write about your idea and discuss with your class.